Hey everyone, Bryce with Airbyte here. Today I'd like to show you how you can configure an external database with ABCTL or you can use Helm as well with a secrets and a values file. In the documentation, we describe what secrets need to be set. And the only secret that's required is the database password, but you can also set the username, the database name, the port and the host through a Kubernetes secret. Today, I'm just gonna use the database password. In a values file, we disable the internal Postgres here and then configure the database settings in a values.yaml file here. The secret name, we can set to Airbyte config secrets, which will match what we have by default in our documentation. And you can set the host port database user and then the password secret key database password here should match the key that's in the Kubernetes secret here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to curl the latest version of ABCTL, which at this time is 0.7.1. Going to install that, ABCTL version 0.1. Okay, ABCTL local install. So I'm going to spin up a ABCTL instance on my local machine without any overrides from Helm. And I'm gonna do this just so that I can get a context into the Kubernetes cluster so that I can apply my secrets first. Okay, so my instance of ABCTL is now up. And if I go to my browser, I can see that my old end-to-end -end test connection is still in my instance here. So if we jump back into the terminal, I'm going to quickly look at the secrets file. So here, as mentioned in our documentation, I have the database password set and my super secret password here is Airbyte. If I look at the values file, I have set up my secret name to point to that secret here. So these have to match the metadata name of the secret has to match the secret name here in the values file. And then I've just set my host port database name and username as plain text. And then here the password secret key is database password, which matches the database password key here that's going to be set in my stream. So if I use kind, I'm going to export my kube configuration from ABCTL. And I should be able to use kubectl to get pods in the ABCTL namespace. And here they are all running. There's a couple of setup steps that I want to do first. The first one is going to be to create some tables in the database that I am going to use. So here I'm going to log in to Postgres. So I'm going to log into that database and I'm going to create a, ta er, excuse me, create a database uh, Airbyte with owner Airbyte. I'm going to create a database called Temporal, also with the Airbyte owner. Oops. Tem. I'm going to create a third called Vi Temporal Visibility. Let's see if we can get that right. Great. Now, if I list all my databases, I can see them. Airbytes in there, temporal, and temporal visibility. Perfect. I'm going to exit out of that. Okay. And now I can, once again, let's look at the secret. So I have this Kubernetes secret here. Uh, my kube context is set correctly for my ABCTL cluster. So what I'm going to do is kubectl apply dash F secret into the namespace Airbyte. A, B, C, T, L. Great, got created. So now if I kubectl get secrets in the Airbyte A, B, C, T, L namespace, I should see my Airbyte config secrets now. There's one data and it was created nine seconds ago. Perfect. So now what I can do is I can A, B, C, T, L, local install, and I can pass dash dash values. And there I can pass my values.yaml file. Now this will again run a Helm install on my ABCTO cluster and will apply the values.yaml overlay that I just created that will instead of using the local Postgres database that comes along with our Helm chart, it will instead use this AWS RDS instance that I've configured through my values.yaml file. So what we would expect when we come back to our connections page here is that this workspace won't exist and this connection won't exist and it will bring me back to the setup page. So you do wanna do this fairly early in your usage of ABCTL, otherwise all the state that you've configured will of course go away because you switch databases. Okay, so we'll pause here and come back when that's ready. Okay, so the process is completed. If I do a quick kube cuddle, get pods, I should see that the bootloader ran and these things have all sort of also been redeployed. 
61 seconds, 83 seconds. Everything's running, so it looked like it succeeded. If we go back here, I'm gonna delete all this stuff just in case and just go to localhost 8000. And now it does bring me back to the setup page. So this means that this instance of Airbyte doesn't think that we've ever done anything before. And let's go and confirm really quickly. We can jump into this database. And let's just get into the Airbyte database really quick. If I do a DT, I can see that all of these tables have been created, which is great. Um, we can select from workspace. We don't have any yet. Great. Okay. If I look into temporal, all my tables in the temporal database have been created, and I would expect them to be created in the temporal visibility as well. And then if I go and actually sign into this instance here, I shouldn't see that I have any connections. And that's what I would expect because we're no longer using the built-in database, but instead we're using an RDS database. Okay, well, while that's thinking, I think I'll stop the video. Um, hope this was useful and we'll see you next time.